What are some of the mistakes you see in negotiations? Well, I, I like to listen first and then talk. Most people are so focused on making their point. I got to talk first, I got to talk first. Actually, the majority of the planet is. So how it plays to my advantage to doing that, you're not going to listen to me anyway while I'm talking. You're, you showed up with stuff you want to say. So I'm going to let you have your say first because you won't be able to listen until then anyway. Plus, on top of that, if you go first, I get a lot of information from you. I find out where the deal really is. I can find out where the things that I didn't know, that you know, you might have given them to me. It's a complete download of information for me if I'm willing to hear it. So not only will I get you in a place where you're going to listen, but I'll be smarter when you're done talking than I was before you started. And maybe I might even change my mind about what I want because you're bringing stuff to the table I didn't know about. Okay, that's gold. Gold, gold, gold. Because in the real estate world, Chris, we have a tendency to think that the person that speaks the most or speaks, speaks the smartest or is the sharpest talker is the person that wins the business. But what you're actually saying is it's probably the best listener. Right, well, one of our sayings is he or she who speaks most loses. Wow. Um, I don't want to speak now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Chris, you talked about predictability. Right. And you talked about the word trust being replaced by predictability. Right. Just elaborate on that a bit. Really good negotiators is that they're able to give bad news early. Chris Voss said at his presentation, what you've got to do is the minute you've got some bad news, don't get on the phone and say, hi, how you going? And sort of, you know, wiggle out of trying to tell them what you really called them for that this is what you do. You get the phone and say, hi, it's Tom here. I've got bad news. The buyer is not proceeding. They've changed their mind and they're not gonna go ahead with your property. What we've done is we've notified all other buyers that we think are in a position to consider your property. We've also ensured that we've um, got great new ads that are appearing and that we've organized an appointment tomorrow afternoon with another buyer for a second inspection. That's the story. Anyway, how's everything going? Chris Voss basically said, people will remember the end of a conversation. So what a lot of real estate agents do is they've got this total addiction to be liked by a client and they never have transparency and go and tell people what they need to hear very early. So I'm hoping that what you get out of this lesson is that if you're a person that has a self-esteem issue that needs validation to be liked by everyone, that you begin to understand that clients want a negotiator, clients want a deal maker, clients want a problem solver. They don't want someone just to agree with them and just to be liked all the time. And this is important because as you're watching this video, in many parts of Australia, the marketplace has changed and you've got to get away from being an order taker to being a deal maker because the marketplace will no longer put the deal together. What will put the deal together is incredible vendor management, incredible buyer management, incredible trust. And how do you get trust? by frequency. And what did Chris Voss say? Call people even when there's nothing to say to them because it's the act of staying in touch and letting them know that you're working away that really matters. So what I want you to do right now in this video, I want you to call 10 people today that you know need to hear from you and you've been putting it off. And I want you to think about the Mel Robbins five second rule. And that is, don't pause and think, oh, what will they say? No, don't you be the judge. Let them be the judge. Get on and do it because 80% of winning is beginning. And I'm gonna ask you to watch the video as it ends. And we move to Chris Voss, where I spoke to him about negotiation. And I want you at the end of that video to go off and to start talking to 10 people. It could be a potential vendor, 
it could be a buyer, it could be an influencer in your marketplace that you haven't spoken to, and actually talk to them. Get on the phone and have a conversation with them. Why? Because nothing happens without conversations in real estate. Emails simply don't cut it. That concludes the free video. As you can see, there are a number of ways that you can be successful in real estate, and the real estate gym is basically making sure that we find everything that every top agent in the country is doing to be successful. Real estate gym members get all their tools, templates, all their scripts, all their information so they can design their own personal system to success. Just go to realestategym.com.au.